The drop heard around the world, well, at least the sneaker world, on Monday, April 11th, by Joe Fresh Goods, the New Balance 550 Conversations Amongst Us. Now, be mindful, brand new creative director at New Balance, and he's already starting off pretty nice. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. I still dream about the days when we were young. Everybody, it's your girl TJ back another video on talks with TJ now it's Monday it's actually the official day of the WNBA draft I was locked in tuned in okay that's actually where my focus was prior to the shock drop and actually I was also catching up on the re-airing of the uh, ESPN films presents 144 so all 144 players in the actual bubble so I was all just into that and editing a video and then I see all of the chaos on my timeline on Twitter because Joe Fresh Goods did a shock drop. Now, he was actually present in Atlanta, you know, for uh, for an actual, like, sit-down social status. Great to see them come together. But then a shock drop happened on Instagram. So it wasn't on a website anywhere else outside of just Instagram. And this isn't, like, groundbreaking in the fact that no one else has done this before. Jerry Lorenzo did this with the friends and family colorway, the gray and black pair of the Fear of God raids. That's actually how I was able to secure my pair. So I'm a fan of designers or brands choosing to drop shoes this way. Um, I think it absolutely gives the general consumer a really good op. It gives you a real chance. Let's just put it like that. It gives you a real chance. You're not fighting against the bots as much as you would be if it were to drop, let's just say, on New Balance. So... This is the very first project out the gate by JFG as the creative director for New Balance. And he just has a way of bringing in the culture, honestly. Like, like there are so many things that I can relate to just in terms of my childhood, my upbringing. Let's just go back to the 990 V3 he did, right? When it comes to, you know, outside clothes. And I'm not even sure what, what is it going for right now? So it's, I mean, it's, it's over 300, no matter what size I'm looking, I would probably have to get a six, 351. Um, so outside clothes. Well, listen, I grew up and there was definitely a thing is outside clothes and inside clothes. Like you came home from school, you immediately changed out of your school clothes into your outside clothes and you go outside, you get dirty, you roll around, you play sports, you sweat, all of that. And when you come in, you literally like drop them immediately in the hamper and you shower and you get ready to eat and go to bed. <laughs> But that resonated with me, okay? I know that resonates with a lot of people, but Joe speaks from his experiences as a black man growing up as a black child within our culture. That's exactly what he brings intentionally to his designs. Now, again, let's just be mindful. He's the creative director. It's so funny because somebody on Twitter, I love it. Like they actually hit him up um, to inquire if another pair, and I believe it's the 2002R, they hit him up to find out like, hey, is this yours too? Um, let me find the actual tweet because it just made me chuckle the way media and publications are okay so somebody actually inquired like you know did you design these or no because blogs are really running away with it and it is for the 2002 r conversations amongst us and he's like no those are not my shoes so if you are like a publication media outlet like you have a, a responsibility as denzel literally told one of you one day on the red carpet you have a responsibility not only to try and be first, but to be right and to be accurate. Like that's all people are asking. Please be right. Please be accurate. So they're not his. It's not like he's collaborating with New Balance on this. He's the creative director. Like he is in charge of the entire oversight and what we're going to see and the message that, you know, they, he wants to get across with New Balance. And so if you guys also did not catch like the, the short film nod, right? So nod conversations amongst us, we can have full conversations and never say a word, right? The head nod, that's literally a silent language. You know exactly what it means. And you don't have to be from the neighborhood of that person. I could literally go from uh, the Midwest over to the West Coast and you you know what the knot is. You just know what the knot is. And shout out to Essie. Essie is making her acting debut 
in the commercial as well. So I, I screamed when I saw it. I'm like, oh my God. So uh, um, I love the actual promotion of uh, the video. And then if you actually look on his Instagram on the box, you'll see that it says uh, designed and curated by Joseph Robinson and a team of black associates at New Balance. And he's working really hard to make sure that he tells, you know, the stories of us through what he creates. And it's nice to see. Um, it's also nice to see the way that it was dropped, right? So many times we're frustrated, we're upset. Doesn't matter if it's sneakers confirmed. It doesn't matter the app. New Balance will stick you in a queue and you have no idea if you really have a shot at getting the shoe because you're like 10,000th in line but it shock dropped on instagram so i was not fortunate enough to get myself a pair i'll have to wait until official release date but if you were able to get yourself a pair please sound off but more importantly i would like to know uh how do you feel about brands companies designers choosing to shock drop like truly shock drop perhaps on instagram versus on their actual website um do you feel like this is giving you more of a fair chance as a consumer or would you rather just you know take your chances on a known release date that's not to say these won't still release of course they'll have a release but uh just let me know your thoughts on the ig shock drop taking that approach again i love it bravo to you jfg bravo to you and new balance i I all respect to you for that. Um, I'm sure that'll continue to just kind of circulate this week on Twitter, Instagram, the rest of the sneaker world. But I think he did an amazing job. I would love to get my hands on the 550. That would be the first 550 I would have. And I love the canvas. I love the tone of it. It, it says a lot. He actually said it's like a fresh white tea in the summer. Um, Touche. Touche, Joe, touche. So if I'm able to get my hands on it, it would be amazing. Um, again, hopefully uh, you guys are able to hit, but sound off in the comment section. Just wanted to share that with you guys. If you weren't aware, if you start to see anything about a shock drop and new balance, that's what it was. So I'm looking forward to seeing everything else he has coming out um, as the creative director of new balance. So as always, actor age, not your shoe size. Peace.